Picture Australia, but not the Australia we know now. Imagine a land untouched by modern civilization, a vast expanse of wilderness teeming with life. Go back in time, millions of years ago, to the Pleistocene epoch. This was an era that spanned from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago, a period marked by the rise and fall of ice ages. This was a time of dramatic climate change. The earth was in a constant state of flux, with temperatures swinging wildly and landscapes transforming in response. Ice ages came and went, massive glaciers advanced and retreated carving out valleys and shaping the terrain. In between these icy periods, lush green plains and dense forests flourished. Across this ancient landscape roamed creatures that seem like they're straight out of a fantasy novel. These were the megafauna, giant animals that dominated their ecosystems. One of these giants was the Diprotodon. Picture a creature that looked somewhat like a giant wombat but was the size of a small car. Imagine a creature that could have given a rhinoceros a run for its money. The Diprotodon was not only massive but also incredibly robust, with thick limbs and a sturdy body. The Diprotodon was a true behemoth, the largest marsupial to ever walk the earth. Its fossils, which have been found across Australia, reveal an animal that could weigh up to 2,800 kilograms. This wasn't some small, shy creature hiding in the undergrowth. The Diprotodon was a dominant force in its environment, likely moving in herds and grazing on the abundant vegetation. The Diprotodon was a dominant force in the Australian ecosystem. It played a crucial role in shaping the landscape, much like modern elephants do in Africa and Asia. These incredible animals were widespread across the continent. From the arid interior to the coastal regions, Diprotodon thrived in a variety of habitats. Their fossils tell a story of a time when giants ruled. Each bone, each tooth, is a piece of the puzzle that helps us understand the world they lived in. This is the story of the Diprotodon, a creature as fascinating as it was massive. Its legacy lives on in the fossils we uncover and the stories we tell about this incredible epoch in Earth's history. The Diprotodon wasn't just big, it was seriously impressive. We're talking up to 3 meters long about the size of a small car. And heavy? Try up to 2.8 tons, heavier than a large hippopotamus. To put it simply, the Diprotodon was built like a tank. Its massive size was only part of its appeal. The Diprotodon had these incredibly distinctive features like a pair of small horns on its skull. And its teeth? Let's just say if those teeth could talk, they'd have some stories to tell about munching on tough vegetation. Their front teeth in particular were massive and chisel-like perfect for stripping leaves off branches and digging for roots. These weren't just for show. They were tools that helped the Diprotodon thrive in a variety of habitats. Despite its imposing size, the Diprotodon was a herbivore. That's right, this giant was all about its greens. Imagine it lumbering through the landscape, munching on leaves and grasses like a prehistoric lawnmower. Their powerful jaws and specialized teeth were perfect for grinding down tough plant material. It's likely that they grazed on a variety of vegetation, including shrubs, trees, and grasses. Their diet was probably similar to that of modern-day wombats, but on a much larger scale. Imagine being the first person to stumble upon the remains of a diprotodon. That's what happened back in the 1830s in the Wellington Caves of New South Wales. Talk about a surprise! At first people weren't quite sure what to make of these massive bones, some thought they belonged to giant wombats, well, they weren't entirely wrong, others imagined rhinos or even elephants roaming prehistoric Australia. It took the sharp mind of Richard Owen, a renowned English biologist, to set the record straight. Owen recognized the fossils as belonging to a distinct, extinct species, he named it Diprotodon, meaning two protruding front teeth. Section 5. From Woodlands to Plains the Diprotodon's diverse habitats. The Diprotodon wasn't picky about its postcode. Fossil evidence suggests that these adaptable creatures lived all over Australia, from the lush forests of the east coast to the drier inland plains. They were at home in woodlands, savannas, and even around waterholes. Basically, if it had something green to munch on, the Diprotodon was there. This adaptability is a testament to their success as a species. They were able to thrive in a variety of environments, which is no mean feat even for a giant. Section 6. A Prehistoric Party Megafauna Sharing the Diprotodon's World The Diprotodon wasn't the only big kid on the block. The Pleistocene epoch was a time of megafauna, and Australia was like a prehistoric party. Imagine giant kangaroos towering over humans, some even reaching 3 meters tall. Then there was the marsupial lion, a fearsome predator with incredibly strong jaws. And let's not forget Megalania, a massive goanna that could give even the bravest person nightmares. 
These incredible creatures all lived alongside the Diprotodon, each playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. It was a world of giants, where the food chain was a sight to behold. It makes you wonder what it would have been like to witness such a spectacle. Section 7. The Mystery of Extinction, Climate Change and Human Impact Sadly like many of the giants from this era, the Diprotodon eventually went extinct. The Diprotodon, a massive marsupial that roamed the ancient landscapes of Australia, was one of the largest known megafauna of its time. Standing up to 1.8 meters tall at the shoulders and stretching over 4 meters in length, these gentle giants were a sight to behold. Around 40,000 years ago, these gentle giants vanished from the face of the earth. Their disappearance marked the end of an era, a time when Australia was home to a diverse array of large animals, including giant kangaroos and the fearsome Megalania, a giant lizard. The exact cause of their demise is still a bit of a mystery, but scientists have some compelling theories. Paleontologists and researchers have spent decades piecing together clues from fossil records, ancient pollen samples and geological data to understand what might have led to the extinction of these magnificent creatures. One of the main suspects is climate change. During the Pleistocene epoch, the Earth experienced significant climatic fluctuations, with periods of glaciation followed by warmer interglacial periods. These changes had profound effects on the environment and the species that inhabited it. Australia was going through some serious environmental changes during the Pleistocene, becoming increasingly dry and arid. The continent's climate shifted from lush forested areas to more open, arid landscapes. This transformation would have drastically altered the habitats and food sources available to the Diprotodon. These changes would have put a strain on the Diprotodon's food supply and made life much more difficult. As the environment became harsher, the availability of the plants and vegetation that the Diprotodon relied on would have diminished, leading to increased competition for resources among the remaining megafauna. Another possible culprit is the arrival of humans. The first human settlers in Australia, known as the Aboriginal Australians, brought with them new technologies and practices that could have impacted the local wildlife. Our ancestors arrived in Australia around 65,000 years ago, and it's possible that our hunting practices and use of fire had a negative impact on the Diprotodon and other megafauna. Early humans used fire to manage the landscape, which could have altered the vegetation patterns and further stressed the already struggling Diprotodon populations, it's likely that a combination of factors led to their extinction, a sobering reminder of the delicate balance of nature. The interplay between climate change and human activity created a perfect storm of challenges that the Diprotodon and other megafauna could not overcome. This serves as a poignant lesson for us today, highlighting the importance of understanding and mitigating our impact on the environment to preserve the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. Section 8. Digging for Answers, Fossil Discoveries and Ongoing Research The story of the Diprotodon isn't over. Every fossil discovered is like a piece of a giant jigsaw puzzle, helping us understand these amazing creatures and the world they lived in. Scientists are constantly making new discoveries, using cutting-edge technology to analyze fossils and reconstruct the past. They're like detectives, piecing together clues from bones, teeth, and even footprints to unravel the mysteries of the Diprotodon's life and extinction. These discoveries help us paint a more complete picture of the past, and they might even hold important lessons for the future. Section 9. A Giant's Legacy – Lessons from the Diprotodon The Diprotodon might be long gone but its story still resonates today. This prehistoric creature, often referred to as the largest marsupial to have ever lived, roamed the ancient landscapes of Australia during the Pleistocene epoch. Imagine a creature the size of a modern rhinoceros, yet gentle and herbivorous, grazing on the lush vegetation that once covered the land. This gentle giant serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that once existed on Earth and the powerful forces that can lead to extinction. The Diprotodon coexisted with other megafauna such as the giant kangaroo and the marsupial lion, painting a picture of a world vastly different from our own. However, the forces of climate change and human activities eventually led to their demise. By studying the Diprotodon and other extinct megafauna, we can learn valuable lessons about the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the impact of climate change and human activities on biodiversity. Fossils tell us stories of past climates, vegetation, and the interactions between species. They reveal how changes in the environment can ripple through ecosystems, affecting every living organism. 
Understanding the past can help us protect the present and preserve a future for all living creatures. Conservation efforts today are informed by the lessons we learn from these ancient giants. By restoring habitats, protecting endangered species, and mitigating climate change, we can create a more sustainable world. So, next time you hear about climate change or the extinction of a species, remember the Diprotodon. Its story is not just a tale of the past but a warning for the future. The extinction of such a magnificent creature underscores the fragility of life and the urgent need for action. This giant story is a call to action, a reminder that we have a responsibility to protect our planet and all its inhabitants. Each of us can make a difference, whether through small daily actions or larger conservation efforts. The legacy of the Diprotodon lives on in our commitment to safeguarding the Earth's biodiversity for generations to come.